The US has finally revealed their brand new Super A10 Warthog. It's back and it's deadlier than ever. Not just when the world thought the A-10 Warthog was ready for retirement, the United States has shocked everyone by revealing a brand new upgraded version of the legendary close air support aircraft. Armed to the teeth, smarter, stronger, and tougher, the new Super A-10 is here to dominate the battlefield once again. But what makes this new beast so special, and why did the military choose to bring it back instead of replacing it? Get ready to explore the astonishing transformation of a warplane that refuses to die. In this video, we'll uncover all the mind-blowing upgrades, new weapons, advanced armor, and futuristic tech behind the Super A-10 Warthog. This is not just an upgrade, it's a resurrection of a battlefield legend. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog, has been the backbone of American close air support missions for decades. Since its debut in the 1970s, the A-10 has earned a fearsome reputation for its toughness, precision, and the unmistakable roar of its GAU-8 Avenger cannon. Designed to destroy enemy tanks and protect ground troops, the Warthog became a soldier's guardian angel in combat zones from Iraq to Afghanistan. But over the years, critics have pushed for its retirement, arguing that newer jets like the F-35 could take over its role. Combat veterans and military analysts disagreed. They knew there was nothing quite like the A-10. And now the US Air Force has listened, choosing not just to keep the A-10, but to make it better than ever. One of the A-10's most iconic features is its insane durability. Built around a titanium bathtub that protects the pilot from ground fire, the aircraft was always designed to take a beating and keep flying. In the new Super A-10, this armor has been improved even further. The aircraft now features advanced composite armor plating that is lighter yet stronger, providing better protection while increasing fuel efficiency. Redundant flight control systems have also been enhanced, so even if one system fails due to enemy fire, the plane can still stay airborne. The landing gear and fuel systems have been reinforced, making the Super A-10 nearly impossible to bring down with conventional weapons. In short, this isn't just an airplane, it's a flying tank. The old A-10 Warthog had strong systems, but they were built many years ago and felt outdated compared to modern planes. Now the Super A-10 comes with a brand new digital cockpit, also called a glass cockpit. This means everything inside is updated with large screens, touch controls, and faster, smarter systems. Pilots no longer have to rely on old dials and switches. They now see clear digital displays that show all the information they need in one place. One of the coolest upgrades is that the pilot can now get live updates from drones, satellites, and soldiers on the ground. This means the pilot can see where enemies are hiding, if the weather is changing, or if the mission suddenly changes all instantly on the screen. This helps the pilot make quick and smart choices while flying, which is super important during battles. Another amazing feature is the helmet-mounted queuing system, HMCS. This high-tech helmet lets the pilot aim just by looking at the target. If the pilot wants to lock onto a vehicle or enemy, they just have to turn their head and the system does the rest. It makes flying and fighting much easier, faster and safer. It's a huge step forward that helps the Super A-10 stay powerful and ready for modern combat. Let's talk about what really makes the A-10 legendary, its weapons. The GAU-8 Avenger 30mm cannon, capable of firing 3,900 rounds per minute, remains at the heart of the Super A-10. But now it's more accurate thanks to upgraded targeting systems and smart ammunition that adjusts its trajectory in mid-air. Beyond the cannon, the Super A-10 can now carry a wider variety of precision-guided munitions, including GBU-39 small-diameter bombs, AGM-65 Maverick missiles, laser-guided rockets, smart JDAM bombs, and standoff missiles for long-range strikes. This makes the aircraft capable of striking not just tanks and vehicles, but also fortified bunkers, radar systems, and even enemy aircraft if necessary. And with upgraded pylons, the Super A-10 can carry more payload than ever before. The old A-10 had two strong engines made by General Electric. They were tough and did their job well, but after many years, they started to fall behind newer technology. The Super A-10 now has better turbofan engines. These new engines give the plane more power, use less fuel, and are easier to maintain. That means the jet can fly better and stay in good condition without needing as much repair work. Thanks to new fuel tanks and changes in the plane's shape, the Super A-10 can now fly much farther than before. 
This is a big deal because it means the aircraft doesn't have to stop often to refuel. It can fly deep into enemy areas and still return safely, which is super helpful during long missions where time and distance really matter. Another great upgrade is that the new engines allow the Super A-10 to take off from shorter and rougher runways. This means it can fly from remote or damaged airfields, places where bigger or fancier jets might not be able to land or take off. This makes the Super A-10 even more flexible and ready to go wherever it's needed, no matter how tough the location is. In today's battlefield, information is everything. That's why the Super A-10 is now integrated with a fleet of unmanned aerial systems, UAS, that act as forward scouts. These drones feed data directly to the aircraft, identifying threats, relaying GPS coordinates, and tracking enemy movements. This allows the pilot to have a bird's eye view of the battlefield like never before. Combined with its onboard sensors and AI-assisted targeting system, the Super A-10 can identify, prioritize, and eliminate threats with surgical precision. One reason the A-10 remains so loved by troops on the ground is simple. It saves lives. Its ability to fly low and slow, deliver accurate fire, and loiter over combat zones for hours makes it the perfect support platform. All these qualities have only been enhanced in the Super A-10. The upgraded communication suite allows the pilot to stay in constant touch with ground units, coordinating attacks and avoiding friendly fire. With enhanced armor, better targeting and smarter weapons, the Super A-10 is now more effective than ever at protecting troops in the heat of battle. In multiple recent exercises and simulations, the Super A-10 outperformed expectations, proving that even in the age of stealth and speed, brute force and battlefield presence still matter. The US military has spent years debating whether to retire the A-10 in favor of newer platforms like the F-35. But time and again, tests have shown that the A-10 does things no other aircraft can do. The F-35 is a high-speed, stealth, multi-role fighter. But for close air support, where pilots must fly low, take fire and deliver precise strikes, the F-35 simply doesn't compare. It's faster, yes, but it's also more expensive and less suited to the brutal realities of ground warfare. Instead of scrapping the A-10, the Air Force realized the smarter move was to modernize it. By combining old-school toughness with modern technology, the Super A-10 delivers the best of both worlds. The A-10 Warthog was never supposed to be glamorous. It was never designed for speed, stealth, or dogfighting. It was built for one thing, to win the fight on the ground. And now, with the arrival of the Super A-10, that mission continues stronger, smarter, and more lethal than ever. As the world's militaries evolve and the battlefield becomes more complex, one thing is clear, the Warthog isn't going anywhere. So what do you think? Should the A-10 have been retired or did the Air Force make the right call by upgrading this legend? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into military tech that's changing the game.